Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Yes, I'm sitting on my coffee table. I am working on my tree. So I brought my drill and my bits in. And I drilled some holes in it. And I have started gluing in my limbs. So we're going to work on this. Okay, now you got to put them in. Miss Carol Ann's the first one of the evening. Hey, Miss Carol Ann. I like you, you're a gun holder. We are making a tree. You know what? Works. <laughs> We are making a tree. Mm -hmm. Are you going to cut some of them like smaller or anything? You will see. Like individual little branches to make them smaller? We'll see. Some of these little branches are too little, y'all, for me to drill into. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to glue my limb to it, and I'm going to wrap some flower, floral wire around it, and I'm going to get me some floral tape later and hide it if I need to. Once I get all my things on here, you may not be able to see it. We just have to see it. Okay. Kelly said, I never saw a tree like that. Well, there's, there's a story to this tree. You'll never see another one. This was, this was a Rose of Sharon that belonged to my mother. And it started falling over, dying. So Alan and I pulled it up out of the ground. We cut the roots out. We cut the top out, and we saved the tree part itself so that I can make an artificial tree with it and I always have my mama's tree. Not my mama, Bicket. You need some, uh, something to cut them with? I'm using these old things. Will it cut them? Yeah, it'll cut it. <laughs> Kelly said, I love the story. <clears throat> she wanted to save her mama's tree. sentimental like that. You take a lot of wire, right? Well, I want a lot of wire on it. I want to make sure it doesn't fall apart. Oh, Marshall said that's so sweet. We didn't have dinner tonight, actually. It was fin for yourself. Everybody just ate what they wanted to eat. Yeah, it was a real tree. It was a real uh, Rosa Sharon.
I would cut them limbs down some. I will have my mother's tree. <laughs> yeah. I would have took these and cut them like little bit small pieces off of them. I got them. more. Why Go get you? me another bundle out of that. Got more. I'm just saying. It's going to have small ones everywhere. What am I going to do? Get me another bundle of leaves. Where are they at? In that wardrobe in there. Somebody asked, would it uh, disintegrate over time? I don't know. It might. It does. She'll pull all the leaves off of it, won't you? Yeah. It could possibly disintegrate over time. Karen said, hey, from Ireland. Hey, Karen. I bet it's late in Ireland. It's 10, 11, 12. About 3 o'clock in Ireland, ain't it? I must say odds are at some point this will rot. It'll be a long time though. Yeah. People say it's snowing. Paula said it's 2.20 p.m. Saturday in Australia. Oh, wow. She's already into Saturday, girl. Sanders says something about clear coat. Yeah, that's what she's going to do, Sandra. She's going to drill holes in the bigger limbs as she goes down. Sandra says she's been waiting on you to do this. Hey, Nancy. Yeah, she says she's going to clear coat on hers when she gets a chance. It'd probably help it last longer. Debbie said you got some good ideas. Uh, no, Camilla, we uh, we cut all the roots off of it. It had fell over, and it, each each year it would just lean more and more and more and more, and finally we decided it doesn't lean as far as it's going to lean. I'd had it for 13 years, and it was tired. It was just giving up, so. What's that rose boost that's uh, flowering out back? Confederate rose. Yeah, she's got Confederate rose, got roses all over it. Already. Camilla, or whatever they call them. I thought it was a Confederate. Did you say Confederate rose? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they are. Some people call them a Confederate rose. Yeah. Um, um, Jackie Murray said, I'm in Australia. She said I did this and put fairy lights on hers. Yeah, I've got fairy lights for it, too. 
Oh, and see, I'm going to wrap ivy coming up it. Sue so said she made her egg rolls, and they're they good. good? They, uh, they are good, ain't they? Lisa, this was a uh, rose of Sharon. Had big white flowers all over it. Uh, that pretty white cabinet came from. That was a. Um, I forget where it came from. It was a T. Want to say it was a TV cabinet that I got online. But we changed off it marketplace, off. and we made it into a just a cabinet. Yeah, we put uh, hardware cloth behind it and painted it and all that. Maybe I'm getting hot. Beverly said, uh, she's from Australia, I think. Um, she said, you're clever. This would cost a fortune if you bought one. Okay, so I have, I think, mm, can of great stuff was $6. Seven. Okay, can of great stuff was seven dollars. I built the planter box. These cost me, I think, twelve dollars, ten or twelve dollars off Timu. I bought three packs. Um, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I built the box, and you had the tree. The tree was my mother's, and it was dying on me, so. long stems so I am cutting them down sister said what kind of tree did you have that was mom's the rose of Sharon remember Jimmy dug it up for me uh it looks like ficus leaves how many bundles came Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, eighteen bundles for... Eighteen. Tw no, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-one bundles. I mean, twenty-one for the ten or twelve bucks. <coughs> I don't know what kind of leaves it's supposed to represent. Did it even say when you bought it? I don't remember. <laughs> I like them no matter what they are, so. Sister says she'll send you some seeds. Oh, I've got seeds, but it wouldn't be mama's. I do have some seeds, but I never saved any off this tree. Wait, yeah, I did. I think I have some seeds off of it out in my little storage room. Uh, I know we got some creek myrtle seeds. Pretty sure I got some of these seeds, too. I don't know. I'm going to have her tree anyway. Yeah, the hummingbirds used to love this tree here. Yeah. Them little white flowers, boy, they love them. Every year, it, the hummingbirds just love, they're going to miss it this year. The bees, too. Butterflies. Mm -hmm. You going to make it full, or are you going to leave spaces in here and there? I'm going to fill it in as much as possible. Okay. Back up on the coffee cake. Get up there. Get up on that coffee cake. Uh, Kathy, she's going to put it where her Christmas tree was last year.
Uh, sister says she's got one of your mama's cactuses, and she can give you, she can uh, share a cutting from it. That would be nice. Uh, good evening, Mr. Larry. Uh, Kathleen, yeah, her sister lives about an hour from here. Okay, I need my cutters. Could you get me some scissors? This, these are not working that well. Yeah. I didn't think they would. Like, I'm fighting these things. Here, this, these things probably ain't worth the crap anyway. You can hurt them. You don't need them right now, do you? She's already got some uh, leak. Yeah, I got some of that. You do? Yeah. Where's that at? In those big pots. Oh, in front of the shed? Yeah. <coughs> uh, Miss Kathy sent you some stars. Thank you for the stars, Miss Kathy. Uh, I don't know how far we're from Pensacola, Becky. We're close, closer to uh, Mobile, Alabama. So I'm actually going to need you to go in the dining room and get me some more glue, too. Let's get me a couple of pieces of wire cut. So you need more glue? Yeah. I can use some glue. Where do you got it at? Is that how you got it? I don't know. It's in there somewhere. I don't see it. Oh, I knocked a leaf off. I don't see it. Okay, well, you might have to actually look through the house. John sent you bags on. Yeah, and I put it somewhere. Yeah, but I don't know where. I'll look for it in just a minute.
nowhere in the dining room. Where are we looking at room again? Yeah, I have no clue where you would put it. I would have it. I looked everywhere. Hard to get chilly out here. Leave it to me and my crazy ideas. Yeah, you have some black out ideas. Oh, uh, thank you, sister. She said she liked that box. That was our breakfast this morning. Our breakfast was good. Boy, that thing hit the spot. I'd like to have one right now. I don't think need very many leaves down the bottom. Yeah, she's going to put it where a Christmas tree used to be. How do you preserve the branches? I have no idea. Some lady said uh, she's going to spray hers with clear coat. Well, I figure I only have about 20 bucks in it at most. It'll just last however long it lasts. Okay, guys. Let me go look for some hot glue.
I looked all in there, I didn't see any, but. The way you put stuff up, you never know where you put it. <coughs> I doubt she's going to put any lights on it. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Fool me, didn't you? She just looked for that hot glue she put somewhere. Uh, Carol, she's finally working on her little tree, but she's looking for hot glue right now. I tried to find it for her, but I couldn't find it, so she had to step away to find it. What was it at? Here are the fairy lights. It was next to my bed. Here's the fairy lights that's going to go on. Over there. Okay. Yeah, Kathy, it was the last place you looked. <laughs> Get up on that table. Twelve inch pieces of wire. Twelve inch. Yeah, about twelve inches. Yeah. No, I didn't build this table. It used to be black. But Becky and I sanded it and stained it and polyurethaned it. Uh, Nancy said, where'd you get that truck print, that, uh, that window frame we built? <laughs> it was a web, um, online site, fine art canvases. Uh, Howard's Michelle? I have no Piece idea. Piece of wire, please. Right here. I have no idea how Michelle is. Yeah, she had that print, and I just took a bunch of uh, two by fours and ripped them down and made her like a window frame.
Oh, hey, Miss Lucy. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Yeah, we got a bunch of old windows too, but uh, they wasn't. They weren't exactly what we wanted. I don't know how many of these wires you're gonna need. Just keep cutting. Okay, here. Oh, your alarm went off earlier for your medicine. Is it that late already? It's, uh, 10.40. Wow, I didn't know it was that late, you know. You gotta think what's going on. I'm looking for my glue gun. It's in a tree. <laughs> Lucy said you just go and go and go. I mean, it's going to be pretty full. <laughs> it's pretty good right now. No, we got to keep going. I mean, that's only... I would say done. Well, you got seven more limbs? Yeah. All right, so that means you need seven more wires. How many do I have right there? Five, seven, there's two more. That's seven wires. Camilla, so where'd you get that shirt at? Do you know? Timu. Timu. shirt from Timmy. Yeah, she's got some kind of little fairy lights here. This is going to get um, foam on the bottom, moss on top of that. I won't get all that done tonight because that stuff's out in my building. Yeah, it's a tall tree, but where it's going to go, the ceiling's like real high. Ceiling's nine foot over there. And in the winter time, when the Christmas tree's up, I'll put it out in my shop. Because the rest of my house has seven foot ceilings, and I actually had it cut taller than this. I 
I cut about a foot out of it a while ago before I got started. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. I was going to do it way taller. I was watching my show. I figured you wouldn't bother me, I wouldn't bother you. Okay. Leave well enough alone. Alright, I think I can reach the others from the floor. Okay, I have a whole drill here. And that one's not going to need any wire. Um, have a hole drilled there. You don't need no wire there. Yeah, I'll need wire in this one. Okay. No, I won't. I think I actually need to put one over in here somewhere. Yeah, I want this one right here. Okay. Oh, Miss Blake. Oh. What is I wanting to do? Like right. Uh, Amy, yes, she is. Okay. Here's his wire. Yes. You need, you need to come around on this side. Somebody said you need one towards the camera. I'll do that. Hey, Devin. What? Made me some blueberry pancakes. All right. <laughs> Tanya said, can't grow one, make one. That's right. Yeah, this one was growing, but it finally died, so. She wanted to try to save it. It was her mama's. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm not some weirdo tree hugger. This was my mother's tree. Sentimental. And I wanted to keep it, so I'm making an artificial tree out of it. Okay. Hello, Miss Linda. Uh, leaves came from Timu. Timu. We got a hole right here. I don't know how long that's going to hold, so let's do this. Okay. Let's Oh, that's hot. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, sister, why I didn't drop seeds and grow any more of them. But it just never did. Uh, no, Carol. Michelle doesn't come over and craft anymore. She plans to. I'm sure she'll eventually get back into it, but right now she's not.
Miss Duncan says she got to go back and see the beginning. Yeah, right now she's just trying to enjoy being in her own house and living life, ain't she? Yeah, like you said, Sue, once Hunter's out of school, she'll probably. No, she's actually just waiting on the weather to warm up so she can come out here and be in the building and craft. Uh, Lee sent you some stars. Thank you for the stars, Lee. Uh, if it froze up on you, go out and come right back in. That'll usually fix it. I hate it when that happens. Thank you for sharing. We appreciate that. In the 50s tonight. I don't know what temperature it is here. It is 54 here. Okay. She has 21 of them, Deborah. Fan those out. Okay, I need one right, right here. Yeah, Lee, a bunch of ladies in here were saying it was snowing. Where they're at. Everything here is starting to flower up and leaves are starting to grow. And We're just hoping we don't get no cold weather. Yeah, I'm hoping not for another uh, cold weather. Uh, Paula, she just got this tree that was dying from her mom or Rosa Sharon we cut the roots off I built her a box um she trimmed the tree up like she wanted it now she's just putting them uh, fake leaves on it and then she's gonna put lights on it yeah we're hoping we don't get any more cold weather because if we do all of our fruits gonna be like Screwed up for the rest of the year. Her Confederate roses just got flowers all over it. Uh, probably about 10 or 12 bucks, uh, Miss Duncan. Uh, how old are we? I don't mind sharing. Becky's 55 and I'm 57. Yeah, age, age number don't bother us. Yeah, team move. I wish I'd push that one down further in there that it's okay, I'll do this. We just young ones. <laughs> Alright. 
many do I have left? Two. Just the two. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. You and I. <laughs> We're building castles in the sky. Yep. I don't know if you can eat quench or not. I need to cut me some more wires. Some more wire? Yes. I thought that was going to be enough too. Okay, you got one there. You're going to need more than one? Yeah. I'm going to cut her some more wire. Hey, Miss Helen. All right, I've got to open the front door. I'm burning up. Really? Yes. You know how I am when I'm working around that hot glue gun and all? Yeah. I start getting hot. How many more of these you need? Mm, maybe six. Maybe six. Cynthia said, I'm loving this. I don't know about that, Cynthia, but... What? She said, you're a pretty good singer. I said, I don't know about that. We just like to have fun. We do that all the time. We'll be riding in my truck. Like, here's our thing. What am I thinking? I can read your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you. Your is coming. <laughs> if I look at him and say, what am I thinking? He starts singing that song. Um, I am the eye in the sky. <laughs> Yeah. We'll be riding in my truck and the song will come on and I'll ask her or she'll ask me, who is it? Quick, who is it? <laughs> be like, who is it? Uh, Helen, it used to be a Rose of Sharon tree. I guess it still is though, ain't it? <laughs> Sure.
Sharon said we're cute together. I don't know. I can be aggravating though. Sometimes she want to knock me out. Why did you twist them together? I didn't. They just it just happened that way. I swear I feel like my shirt showing my fat belly, even though I know it ain't. <laughs> oh, Janice says she's got a bunch of them in her yard, pink, white, and purple. Uh, Harmony is in bed. Yep, yeah, our little princess is in bed. Uh, Sandra, she's just putting artificial limbs on that. Rose is sharing tree. Oh, Janice said you could have some of them. I actually have some seeds. Um, I don't know if they're still any good, though. I really don't. I think Janice lives in Georgia somewhere. If I remember right. Y'all know tr real trees have these little scragglers on them here and there. So that's what I'm doing is I'm putting some scragglers. Because we don't prune our tree. Any small homes in our area? Um, I'm sure there are. Yeah, Janice lives in Athens. Sister said, you know, Jason bought your mama that tree. I didn't know that. Uh, she got her leaves from Tamu. It's a real tree. You need some more wire? No, I actually not some of it over here. How many you got? I have three, and I have three of these, so I should have enough. Okay. Let me see. I can get more if you need them. Yeah, I've got a, uh, I've got a Bradford pear tree. No, we don't. Ours ain't Bradford pears. We got one Bradford. Bradford pears only bloom. They don't like. Okay, now what what kind of pears do we got? I don't know. They're they're actual fruit trees. Yeah, we've got two different pear trees because you got to have different ones so they cross pollinate so they'll bear fruit. No, no, we don't have the ones that stink. She says she's got two. Um, where we used to live, we had one. But yeah, ours actually bear fruit. I forget what kind of pear trees they are then. And then we got two different apple trees. Um, I don't know what kind of apples they are, but they're, that one puts off good red juicy apples. It didn't last year though. We had an early frost. It killed all of our blackberries. Uh, blueberries. The blue, yeah, I'm, yeah, it killed the blackberries, the blueberries. We had a few grapes grow. We had a late frost, not an early one. Yeah, late frost. We had a few uh, 
Yeah, I think we're in Bartlett. But we had uh, a few grapes grow. Just a handful of blueberries grew because most of them got froze early. It started blooming, then we had a late, uh, late frost. The pear tree didn't put nothing off. The apple trees didn't put nothing off. Our crab apple trees, they're not big enough. They're yet, ornamentals. Please. Yeah. They don't really put off. They Where taste good though. They're but they're real small. We're sour as fuck. Watch your mouth. Michael, I'm on live. I didn't know that my bad. Yeah, you can't you gotta watch it when you come in our house. I didn't know that. I didn't. No, we can't we can't cover them up. They're too big. No, we don't have any strawberries. I don't know why we don't. I mean I don't like strawberries, so Becky love Becky and Devin love them. Um, I thought about planting me some this year. I had a peach tree. It put off the juiciest peaches, but it died. <laughs> I don't know how it died. Not in this dirt. Yeah, you Georgia red clay. We miss all the plum trees and uh, pear trees and stuff they had over there on uh, 85 by Chris Smith. Uh, Scuppernogs are like grapes, but they got seeds in them in a sack. Muscadine. Yeah, it's like a muscadine. muscadine. You squeeze it into your mouth, and it's like a big... It's like a big snot wide. Yeah, I didn't want to say it that way. It's a, yeah. like a loogie. I ain't gonna lie to these folks. Looks like a big snot ball with seeds in it, but it's sweet. Devin loves them things. Scupper dogs? Oh, and we got a mulberry tree. It used to be a bush, but it's a tree now. It grows mulberry as big as your thumb. Years yeah, right by my uh, wood shop. Them things are so good, but they'll stain your hands. Did I get it? It was already here, sister. The mulberry bush was already here. Um, I think a bird might have dropped the seed or something. And just, we kept cutting it down for the longest because we didn't know what it was. I didn't know it was a mulberry bush, and I kept cutting it down, and finally it just grew into a tree, and I quit cutting it. And, and I told him, I said, you got to quit cutting that. That's mulberries. And then I looked, and there was mulberries all over it. Don't want to glue these in for stragglers. How much land do we have? On this property, we just got five and a half acres. We got six and a half over at the other property. Yeah.
Yeah, you might as well put them on there. Well, I figure they can kind of hide some of the spots. Um, no, the leaves ain't gonna turn brown because they're uh, they're artificial. Uh, mulberry is like a blackberry, but about two to three times bigger and a lot sweeter. Looks just like a blackberry. I think I'm going to call that you. Step back. Take a look. I made a tree. <laughs> You're God. No, I'm not. Well, I didn't mean it that way. Kathy, give you a thumbs up. Well, hey, Nancy. I see where I need to put a couple of these little stragglers. <laughs> Thank you, got a green thumb, ain't she? I'll run them over everybody's the monkey chase weasel. <laughs> yeah, it would be pretty if she had some of them uh, rows of Sharon flowers. <laughs> Caroline, she used all three packs. She didn't waste none of that. They said it's awesome. You're like the Miz. You're, no, oh, I'm not gonna waste a leaf. I'm I'm hiding the little rough edges of the stems with these little leaves that fell off. A couple laying around in the floor. We're gonna use every page. No, there's no thorns on on the mulberry bushes. None at all. Whew. Our blackberry bush don't have uh, thorns on it because we got a tame one. We got a ton of wild ones around, but I don't like messing with them things. What? Oh, blackberries? Yeah, you get chiggers and you get stuck. And... <sighs> I don't care about chiggers and all that. I still go out here and get them. I used to go down there before. Uh, that property over there got cleared and get them by the big bowl falls. I ain't no poison ivy, poison ivy so bad. Rosa said it looks like a professional made it. It looked like it almost grew. What you got, a sandwich? Yeah. You get a drink? Yeah, I'm going to stay right here with the porch. I'm uh... Hey, North Kakalaki is in this shacky. North Kakalaki in the shacky. Remember Pam, uh, Pam used to say that, Pamela? Yeah.
Yeah, she's got, I don't know what she's going to put at the very bottom. What are you going to put on that? Okay, I have some white pieces of foam that I'm putting at the bottom. And then I'm going to put moss on it. That's what somebody just said. Uh, jeans, they just look good with moss. Yesterday, I almost come out here and airbrushed up mine's around the uh, porch uh, thing out here. Don't, don't be airbrushing on our porch. I'm not. <laughs> Okay. I used every single leaf. <laughs> Woo! <coughs> you want to play your gun? I'm going to. Oh, you might need it, might you? All right. One, she's put it in the living room where her Christmas tree was. Uh, thank y'all. Hey, Miss Kathy. I thought I seen you in here earlier. I've got to figure out what's going to be the front and what's going to be the back. Do you need to bring it over here? I so like this for the front. Close your eyes and just finish. We can stop. That's the front. I like this for the front. Put it on Lazy Susan and just spin it as you want it. So, this is going on to the back. Mackenzie, what are you doing up this late, girl? You got school tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday. Oh, tomorrow's Saturday. You can stay up late as you want, huh? Hey, Miss Carol. Uh, yes, we made the uh, picture frame and all that that's behind her with the truck. Oh, get back on there. I've got to hold that a second. I took a two before, ripped it down with the table saw, and put it all together for her. Um... Melissa Reese sent you some stars. Thank you for the stars, Melissa. Hey, Lisa. Do we have a video of it? Um, yes, yeah, somewhere on the page there is. Fixed to be a ant. Uh, sister said, "Hey, Mike." Hi. Uh, Caitlin, you can stare, at ladies. You won't, young lady. No, thank you, Melissa. That was sweet. Yeah, Pamela, don't be such a stranger, young lady. Yeah, if you look for that video, just click the more button on top of our page, and then click video. It's going to be a pretty pretty good ways down, because it was, I think last summer we did it. Kathleen said, you outdone yourself. Thank you. Yeah, I know, Pamela. Same thing with us. Sometimes, sometimes we go 
three, four, five, six days without even being able to do a live. Oh, thank you, Mackenzie. What's the next project? Um, We're going to work on some Easter crafts. Yeah, I think Becky's going to do some crafts. I may do one or two. I want to give y'all a closer view of that tree. If I can. Kind of get you... more of a view well I think that's worse I think you can see it better back here I'm gonna say about right there uh, Donna we're usually on every day almost we haven't been here lately Uh, Miss Lisa sent you some stars. Thank you for the stars, Lisa. Much appreciated. <laughs> sister said, your next project is to work on your favorite sister's house. Uh, just, I gotta get to work on my own. Yeah, we got a living room. We got a shiplap three walls, and then we're gonna redo the floors. We're going to be some busy little We've things. just been trying to wait on warmer weather. Because having to run in and out. Yeah, it doing the uh, dining room floor. Because we didn't have, it was raining. And... Well, you got to think, this living room floor is going to be the living room and two hallways. Uh, Christine, she is wrapping fairy lights around it now. Terry Valentine said, beautiful. Thank you. And Miss Michelle uh, Colley sent you some stars. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate it. Just start at the top, work your way down that way you can go up the next limb. I'm going up on the coming back down on that one. On the same limb? Yeah. Ha ha ha. Come to Texas. Well, yeah, I'd have a place to stay. My brother lives in Texas. Um Mackenzie sent you some stars too back. Oh, thank you, Mackenzie. Pam, everybody was talking about snow earlier. <laughs> Kathy Smith said, I think there's a squirrel in that tree. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. That's Becky. <laughs> uh, Tanya sent you some stars back. Thank you, Tanya. I think she's going down the same limb. Um, uh, Patricia said if you plug the lights in, you can see exactly where they're getting. Yeah, at. I gotta get a um, a pack. A what? I need a. You know the. No, I don't know. The no, that one. USB thingy. The box? Yeah, the box. I got one, you need it? Yes. There's one laying in that floor? You talking about a... Uh, oh, okay, yeah, the one to the others. You talking about a brick? A block. Yeah, a block. Power block. Okay, let's see how good I got them running up it. Mm -hmm. It's going to 
twinkle. I gotta go take the other pack and go up these limbs. And I'm going to put that ivy. I'm wrapping it around it. I'm gonna put the foam and then I'm gonna put the moss on it. Uh, it's a real tree with fake le uh, leaves. Tonight, didn't I? <laughs> I heard music from the Dayton game. Ain't that what that's from? That's what it sounds like, don't it? Was, was, that, uh, was that Chuck Willery? Ain't that who, who was the host? I think it was. Get back in two and two. I'm going to go shut that door. You got loud. Me to be one of those to take on a late evening project. What's that? I said, yep, leave it to me to take on a late evening project. Yeah. Uh, I ain't so right though, because I don't sleep at night. All right, Shirley, have a good night, Good night, Miss Shirley. Um, uh, where'd you get the long strings of light? Timu. Timu. Um, yeah, Linda, she took a bare tree, a real tree, added the fake leaves all over it, and now she's putting twinkle lights on it. Oh, Vicky, we know how that used to be. What's that? Finally get a good night's sleep and have to get up and go to work. Oh, yeah. That sucked. Yeah, that tree was her mother's, a Rose of Sharon, and it finally leaned over and died, or it was dying. So we cut the roots off of it, cut the top limbs off of it, Built a box, put it in it, and now she's doing all this. <coughs> Pam, Pamela said, I think I'm part vampire. I go to bed when the sun comes up. Right. I used to go to bed at 10 o'clock. I'm up late tonight. I'm hardly ever up this late. I go to bed two, three, four o'clock in the morning. And my kids are the same way. I go to bed about once or twice a week. <laughs> huh? 
I am hot. But I've, I've always, my whole life, been an insomniac. Oh, Linda said she went to bed at 6.30 a.m., got up at 11. Sounds like me this morning. There are nights that I won't get in bed till 5 o'clock, and then I'm up by um, 8.30, 9 o'clock with TT. I'll go to bed around 10, and sometimes I'll just lay there and watch a few minutes of TV, but about 2.30, 3 o'clock, I'll get up to use the bathroom, and Becky will still be up. And he'll be like, why ain't you going to bed? Well, if I could sleep, I would. I might just lay down and close your eyes. I can't just lay down and close my eyes and go to sleep like he does. That don't work for me. Me neither. Do we have separate bedroom? No. No. I lay there quietly and watch my tablet. I try not to make any noise. Sometimes, though, um, he gets woke up by me eating. Yeah, I'm like, could you be any louder? Please, just a little bit louder for me. I'll be laying in bed eating cheese, <laughs> cheese and crackers. How many TVs do we have? There's one in every room. Becky and I have two, one in the living room, one in our bedroom, but Devin's got one in his room. Haley's got one in her room. Harmony's got one in her room. But yeah, I'll be laying there asleep. And about 1 o'clock in the morning, 1.30 or so, I'll hear... This is what I'll hear. And I'm like, come on now. Okay, but he doesn't tell y'all about the nights when I'm actually finally sleeping that he wakes up and has to do a breathing treatment and he'll plug up the, the loud one that goes, bah! and then once he's done with that, he'll turn the TV on and he can't halfway here, so he'll have the TV loud. But I ain't use that big machine. I use my little quiet one. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. I ain't use that there big one in here. There are nights that you turn that thing on, and it goes, I ain't used the big one in a year. Okay. I've got my little portable ones. Okay. I guess I'm hearing shit. Yeah, you are. I heard that, Bruh. Not from me. Because I'd be like, I'm finally sleeping. A year ago, yeah. Like, I did. know you need to breathe, but I want to knock you out. <laughs> when an insomniac falls asleep, you let him sleep. But that was a year ago. Going to the other room to do your breathing treatment. Okay, then, I need another block so I can plug them both up at the same time. And then she'll say, are you okay? I'm like, what do you care? You so lie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she'll say, are you okay? I'll be like, no, I'm not. You don't tell them how when you have a really bad one, I jump up and I'm over on your side of the bed taking care of you like I move like a bolt of lightning. <coughs> Wonder Woman ain't got shit on me whenever he can't breathe. <laughs> you need CPR? I need, I need to do chest compressions. What do you need? What do you need? Good night, Cheryl. All right, I need another block. Let me find another block. I'm going to plug them both up at the same time. Yeah, our bed is like, she's got one half, I got one half. I can raise mine up and she can keep hers down because I got to sleep reclined up a little bit and she wants to lay flat. And sometimes I'll turn. 
I'll turn my <laughs> I'll turn my massager on and it drives her crazy. It is so loud. It's like having a washing machine out of balance. Okay. Want me to cut the light out? Yeah, cut the light out. Let's let's see what she looks like. She was a lot. Okay, harder. I gotta shut this door because that music will get us banned. A noise. She has a lot of work. Go cut that light out for a second. But then cut it right back on. Okay, I'm just going to stand here with my hand on the knob. We got a mess over here. You did it. Look at the ceiling. Oh, look at the ceiling, y'all. We got our own light show. Do shadow puppets, Becky. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a creature in the wild. I can't do that because we ain't got enough. There's some ruffling in the tree. Ooh, I'm a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Harmony will come in there to me like that, Becky. With her hands up by her head, she'll go, I'm a witch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Scoot, scoot that, and I'm going to put it over here where it goes. And tomorrow... And that squirrel is back. <laughs> tomorrow, I will bring the moss in. Um, let me move the phone. Okay. It's going to go right here. Right here. Right there. Let's scoot the coffee table. Oh, i got to clean up all this mess. Okay, that's, that? that's the front. That's where I drilled the holes. He said, what's that? It is very heavy because I have bricks um, in it. I'm going to get Devin to come move it. Oh, get out the way. Oh, I ain't picking that up. I'll pick it up. You pick it up. I ain't picking that up. I'm not supposed to pick nothing up that heavy. I told y'all, it's going to be like walking through the jungle in here. You're like Guns N' Roses. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> yeah, fam, that's what it might be. Can they see that? Uh, it's, it's like covering that thing to the... Yeah. Anyways. <sighs> she was working. I do wish you'd been taller, though. Were you? I'm wishing I'd have kept it taller. You cut it down. She's the one cut it down, and then she's going to talk about it. I wish it was taller. I wish I'd kept it taller. So you, you still had two and a half feet? I know, but... Yeah, that's where the Christmas tree goes. Yes. I just have to put the moss in the bottom, do my little um, ivy that I want running up the branches, and maybe fluff those limbs out a little more, get them bent the way I want them. Thank you, Miss Camilla. Build a riser. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. 
Uh, I agree. Add something to the top. More greenery sticking up. Um, I kind of bent the limb, some of the limbs over. I just need to bend them back up so they're reaching up taller. Add a tall branch in it later. Yeah, I could do that. I don't know why you cut them off. We had it perfect. But that's you. You do you. I do me. I don't know, I'm going to have to see if I like the ivy wrapped around it. I may not like the ivy wrapped around it. I would just do the bottom. Yeah, and a lot of people are saying just do the bottom. Yeah, I wouldn't put ivy around it. But Thank you, Pam. That's just my opinion. He didn't make the bend in the fireplace. That was originally there. What? And he hasn't redone the fireplace yet. Yeah, that's a Hallmark movie on Paul's on my TV. <laughs> love and Jane, love and Jane. Um, okay, so this was already like this. We took the extra stuff off, and this is wallpaper. We're going to pull this off, and he's going to put out actual pallet wood on my fireplace for me. I did this with the wallpaper. And he did pull all that. It had a bunch of swirly, fancy designs on that it. That swirly, fancy trim. I didn't really like it. So he pulled it off, and I put the paper on. But then I decided, I want real pallet wood. I mean, it's electric fireplace. I want real pallet wood on it. So he's supposed to do that. Thank you, Maggie. Okay, guys, I'm going to hop off here. I'm so hot. I'm just going to go stand outside. I'm going to get me drank of mine. Got my... I think we got some good heat. My half-sweet tea. I will turn that heat off or it's <laughs> crazy. And I'm going to go stand out on the porch. I was saying if it really hot. I was saying if it really throw the heat off, and it does. It is hot up in this house. <coughs> but anyways, y'all, thank you for hanging out with me. And thank you, everybody who sent me stars. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a great night. Tomorrow we'll do the... I'll come live and do the rest of it with you guys. Y'all can help me decide if we're going to put Ivy on it or not. But I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all. Big Daddy going to bed. <laughs>